Anyway, but yeah, this is what your bottle's gonna look like after uh, you blow it up correctly to uh, 80 pounds, so. This is gonna sound like a 12 gauge shotgun going off right next to you when you blow it up. And that's the fun of it. You know, and when you're done, you just unscrew the cap. Now we're ready to go put it on a new two liter bottle and you're ready for another big bang. All right guys, uh, today is really exciting for me because I'm reviewing these right here. These are from Umarex and they're called Big Blast Target Caps. They're basically at the top of one of these two liter bottles right here. Looks like a cap like this. So in the package you get 10 of these caps and here's basically what you do. You take off your cap, your two liter bottle cap. You gotta have enough thread up here for these to work. So little water bottles don't always work. But as long as you got a cap size at least this big, you're good to go. Now it comes with a bag like this to save all your caps in. So I shot these last month and I put them in here. So you take one of these caps. Say this is like, you get 10 of these and this was only $10 at Walmart, which is another cool thing. Got a cool little drawstring and then this bag's legit. It even holds your needles. You can put them in here. They can't actually make it through the fabric. So, you know, it holds your needles, holds everything. So it's as simple as that. You take your uh, two liter ca cap off and I'll just show you the inside of these. Now, when you stick the needle in here, this thing stretches out or does something. Either that or you can pierce this, but you can stick that needle all the way in here and it's gonna pump up just fine. So all you do is uh, take one of these caps right here, take the cap off your two liter, screw this on. Right there is uh, a little thing for if you wanna hang these up. Uh, I'll show you all that. And you're done. So basically you just get your two liter bar like this and then you take a normal bike pump. It comes with these two needles, which is basically just like if you're blowing up a basketball. Uh, so you take a bike pump like that, or you get one of these on your air compressor. I had to get a little doodad to make that go in there. And uh, basically, you want to pump this up to about 80 pounds. If you don't have a, a way to measure that pump, you just do it until this is really, really firm. And then uh, you can shoot this with a firearm, a bow, or an air gun, but you know, you're going to want to stand back at least 30 feet. And uh, so basically, this is going to sound like a 12 gauge shotgun going off right next to you when you blow it up. And that's the fun of it. You can't do these in town, and that's why I'm in the country right now. And so we're going to go way out into the forest and do these. But, you know, if I did this in my house, then probably the SWAT team would show up. So anyway, if you live in the country and uh, you can shoot firearms, bows, or air guns at your house or wherever you're at, then these are really, really cool. So basically you attach it, like I just said, you inflate it, and you shoot it. And you guys are going to see these things are crazy loud. When you do shoot this, uh, you can reuse your cap. And so, you know, these 10 caps are going to last you forever. Every once in a while, you might accidentally hit one. And, and you know, if you want to put, like, powder or dust or liquid inside the bottle, I'm going to put some actual confetti. Uh, then, you know, you can make an even better effect. So this is my uh, not very nice air compressor, but I'm just going to try to set that to, like, 80 pounds. And, uh, or let's just say I'm going to do 90. And then I'm going to pump this bottle up with it. By the way, I got this at Walmart and it was only $17 and I like it because between 80 and 100 is where you want to stop for these uh, Umarex blasting caps anyway. And this pumps it up twice as fast. So I think uh, if you're way in the middle of the forest, you can use one of these and uh, you'll, be, you'll be set. All right, my air compressor is all pumped up to uh, about 80 and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this Pepsi bottle. You do have to kind of hold this a little bit sometimes and you can shove the needle in all the way. You hear it filling up? Well, it'll pull it out every once in a while, uh, you know, before you pump too much air in there. Now, this is kind of firm, but I can squeeze it a little bit. I don't know if you can see. But, so you keep going. If you're using a hand pump, you know, you get it up to 80. This right here was a little fitting that I had to get to go on my air nozzle. And basically, this screws into the air nozzle. This part screws into here. I just broke my needle because I was using an old one. A little bit of air is leaking out, but you can kind of see that thing start to stretch out. and It's a lot firmer now, but I think I can fit a little bit more in there. Oh, 
Okay, okay, now this is super, super tight. I can really not push down on it. Listen to that. And so, <laughs> this thing's ready to pop. So basically, you just hit that Pepsi logo right there and uh, it's gonna sound like someone shot a 12 gauge shotgun like literally five feet away from you. That's how loud it is. So we're gonna do a ton of really crazy stuff with this tomorrow. I got some confetti I'm gonna throw on one of these. I'm gonna send one up on my drone to like, let's just say 500 feet in the air. We're gonna drop it and shoot it with a variety of weapons. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna go in there and uh, get some bottles ready. Another thing I'm curious about with these uh, big blast target caps, that's what they're called, big blast target caps from Umarex, is uh, if this bottle is going to hold this pressure like while we're driving to the forest tomorrow, about a 20 minute drive. And so basically I just did this up. I'm pretty familiar with uh, how these feel and so and this is really hard. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm also curious to see if it's going to lose any pressure overnight. So I'm going to leave this overnight and then uh, in the morning we'll see if this is just as hard as it was. And then if it is, that's going to be awesome. Okay, to do a little test of, uh, I just want to blow this one up and I can't wait till tomorrow. So I want to show you guys how freaking crazy these are. This is, uh, as you can see, there's nothing around this that can like blow up. So uh, this should be done outside. You need to stay at least 30 feet away. So uh, what I'm going to do is I have two sheets of half inch plywood back there, which will more than stop my pellet. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be shooting from way out there in the field. So I'm gonna be probably like 35 or 50 yards away, but uh, I'm gonna leave my innocent camera sitting right here to uh, record everything and it's gonna be crazy. All right, to shoot this gun from uh, about 50 yards away today, we're gonna use my Avanix 25 caliber, fully automatic badass gun. And uh, let's see here, this is actually called the Conquest. And this thing, I have not shot for like two years. It's been in the case. Check this out. It's still right where I left it at 200 bar. And I'll tell you one other thing. This scope is deadly accurate out to like 100 yards. So uh, this is just a cheap center point scope. But I've been nailing stuff with this for years. And uh, I'm going to nail this Pepsi can right now. You're dead. Okay, so I did find the bottle, and uh, this is actually not pumped up enough um, because the desired effect is not a hole like that. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, hopefully I got that pumped up enough. Let's try that again. Now that is what I'm talking about. This reminds me of the Terminator, uh, the bad guy when he got blown apart. Anyway, but yeah, this is what your bottle's gonna look like after uh, you blow it up correctly to uh, 80 pounds, so. You know, and when you're done, you just unscrew the cap. Now ready to go put it on a new two liter bottle and you're ready for another big bang. This right here is my 25 caliber fully automatic Conquest 25 caliber and uh, this is a double magazine right here. Boom. So the only thing about these double mags is uh, you want to make sure you don't bump them a little bit because then that's going to jam your gun so it's got to be exactly you know where it's supposed to be. Well, that's, the, that's why these are a little difficult to use. You got to be really on your ball on the ball if you're going to be doing those. But that's 24 25 calibers. All right, guys, here's a couple bottles that I pumped up, and these are super, super tight. This going to be the double bomber right here. And uh, I just wanted to say one thing right here is these needles, really fragile, so you can't just drop your air compressor nozzle and let it hit the floor because I've already broke like two or three of these. But fortunately, I have a lot of them around. Once you bend them, they may still work, but then they'll leak a little bit of air out there. So I was able to pump these up to like 80 or 90. And they're ready to rock and roll. I made some little stands right here so we can set them out there more easily. Uh, you're not supposed to put anything around these. You're allowed to put liquid or powder in the bottles, but uh, you don't want to do anything else or it could result in injury you know, and or death. You could put confetti in a bottle like this and you could even drop it from a drone, I don't know, from 
500 feet and then shoot it out of the sky, you know, so that is allowed. Okay, I kind of figured out the formula for filling these bottles up when there's air in it. I firmly hold the needle in there and I just hold it down for 10 seconds. Then I feel it, it'll feel pretty tight. And if you're saying like, oh, it could get a teeny bit tighter, then you, uh, you go ahead and hold it on for another five seconds. Pull that sucker right out there, that needle out of there, and your thing's going to be firm and ready to go. That's if you don't have a pressure gauge. So now what happens if you leave the water in here? Let's find out. My theory is that we're just going to pressurize this up to 80 pounds. doesn't matter if there's water or air, and I think it's going to pressurize a little quicker. And it's going to have us 80 pounds in there, but it's going to be 80 pounds of water. Probably if you shook up a carbonated bottle, and then you times that by maybe two or something, that might be what... What's doing so? I'm gonna fill these up right now. Okay, I went about 20 seconds uh, full pressure on these, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and hang these in the tree. I do know that when they're full of water, they're a lot quieter, and when we hit it, it's just gonna spin in one direction or another. At a pretty fast pace, though, so they're pretty cool. There was only two short videos on YouTube about these big blast caps, and so I watched them, and one guy had some water in there pretty cool so we're gonna do that right now so the cool thing to do is hang these from something This right here is the Big Blast Target Caps from Umarex, and uh, I got one of my bottles ready with some confetti in there. They say you could put liquid or powder in these, but don't put anything hard, like buttons or paper clips or anything like that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and see how many... Now, also, you probably don't want to screw this on as tight as you can go. Kind of like your oil filter, you want to put it on there snug and give it a little bit more of a turn, and then I'll do it for that. So I'm going to see how many pumps it takes in this $17 twice as fast double pump to get me in that red zone right there. So I'm ready to pop this baby. So I just put this in there. I don't know if at some point I'm going to have to grab this and hold it. It might pop out. We'll see. All right, you can see right there I have a solid 80 pounds in this baby. And uh, it actually feels a little tighter than I usually get them in. This thing's not popping out of there. I'm just going to carefully pull it out. So, there was my thing bleeding out, but wow. So, how many pumps that was? This thing's got 90 pounds, and I think this is, yeah, at least as tight as I was blowing them up. And that was easy. That didn't take me many pumps at all. I'd say like 20 pumps or something. These are Caltech Sub 2000s and 40 caliber and a 9 millimeter. So obviously you can see that they fold. All right, guys, this is full of confetti and glitter and stuff like that. I got some little glitter bunnies in there, and uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot this. All right, guys, we took this drone right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take this up about 400 feet and drop this bottle full of confetti. All right, guys, we got that... Uh, drone way up there, probably 200 feet, and I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Oh! Oh, that 
that was great. I hope I didn't hit your drum. No, you didn't. Our last bottle that we have with a 45. Oh my. Wow. So yeah, guys, Umarex Big Blast Target Caps. They are uh, about $10 at Walmart. My official opinion is a thumbs up. These things are awesome. So go ahead and don't get in trouble with these things by letting them off in, a, in town or whatever. But definitely grab some of these and have some fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.